So hello everyone, my name is Stuart Rinout um, and I'm going to talk to you today about Prompt Buddy, um, which is like a prompt sharing library, like an enterprise prompt library um, where prompts find their purpose. So I work at Microsoft, I'm part of our modern work and AI customer success team. Um, I've been a power platform builder for as long as I can remember power apps um, and uh, I'm the co-creator of Prompt Buddy. Um, and you can get to me on Twitter, on YouTube, and all of those kind of things there. So the reason why Prompt Buddy kind of came about is um, because people needed guidance. And just bear with me, AI seems to be like an air fryer. This is my current thing at the moment. AI is like an air fryer. I don't know where it was, what it was like in, in other countries, but there was like this, a couple of years ago, there was a massive buzz around air fryers and everyone's like, you must buy an air fryer. You must buy an air fryer. Um, and I bought an air fryer and then I took it home and I was like, yeah, it's okay. It's It cooks a little bit quicker. It's okay. Um, but it's smaller than my oven. I've got too many, you know, there was there were too many things. It was okay, but it wasn't brilliant. It didn't blow my socks off. It wasn't the mind blowing change. Um, and I think AI is a bit like that because, um, you know, with the, with the air fryer, I could say, well, I can just cook one thing super quickly but actually if i want to cook a massive meal i still want to go and use my oven so i needed to go and look for recipes that were optimized for using an air fryer so that i could revolutionize my cooking life and ai is like that um you know we will use copilot and other uh, ai tools if we're just trying to use them the way that we've used other tools previously we don't always get the best out of those tools so we need to find prompts which are optimized uh, or workflows that are optimized for using ai so it's a bit like that so this is where prompt buddy came from so this is prompt buddy here um, as i say it's an enterprise prompt lab uh, library people can go and store their own prompts um, we can like them so we've got leaderboards here showing what that looks like um, we've got different categories, so you can, depending on what product your uh, your prompt is in, you can go and do that. So this is a really useful one. You can do in Copilot to summarize a YouTube video, so you don't have to watch the whole thing. Not just apps, you can actually tag prompts so that they are for departments um, or personas, and then people can actually go and add their own departments and personas as well um, uh, when, when they go and implement that within their organization. Hopefully you'll get a gazillion prompts that kind of come in here so you can search for those prompts, find the prompts you want. So if I want a great prompt to help me with meetings, then I could go and find that, grab the prompt from there, copy and paste it, go and head across to Microsoft Teams or Copilot for M365 and go and use the prompt in there. Really, really easy to do. Um, and obviously, once people start to get success from this, we want them to share their own prompt. So really easy. Everyone can share a prompt. They pop in the title, they pop in the description, they go and stick in the prompt that they've got that they're putting in for themselves, um, and then they can tag that. So I said about apps, but you can actually multi-tag it. So you could tag it for different apps and different departments and things like this. We can add a super uh, super icon here, and it can even go and post out and share that into a channel. Submit that. People find out about it. They love your prompt. They go to it. They hit the little the little heart icon there. Um, and it raises up that chart in the middle on the best prompts. Um, and the, you you kind of come up this top contributors board as well. So lots and lots of, uh, of different ways that you can go and find and share the prompts you like. So it's really easy to get. All you need to do is go to aka.ms forward slash get prompt buddy. But the interesting thing about it is that it is actually built on top of another app sum, uh, an app template. So if you were familiar with Dataverse for Teams, um, you might be looking at that kind of going, oh, that looks like one of the app templates that was part of Dataverse for Teams. And that's because it was actually built on top of the Employee Ideas app. Um, so we built it on top of Employee Ideas, we extended it out, um, gave it that multi-tagging capability um, uh, to, to make that easy to use. So if I just head over, to get prompt buddy, then we can get it from there. Um, now, people have said, why have we used Dataverse for Teams rather than SharePoint for that? Um, and partly that's because uh, we love Dataverse for Teams. I love Dataverse for Teams. It's a really easy way um, to develop apps um, that live within Teams 
um, and kind of extend Teams out to everybody, makes it super easy to use. Um, the other thing for me is I find it really easy to then distribute those apps because you can put everything in a solution, send it across, and we make quite regular updates to Prompt Buddy um, to include lots of new features. Uh, so uh, so it's easy for us to distribute the solution because then it will make the updates in the tables and do that. Otherwise, we would have to find another way to then update SharePoint lists and people have to build those SharePoint lists um, and things like this. So really, really easy to use. Um, and we've prob and so we have an internal version of Microsoft. Um, it's kind of gone viral. I reckon we probably have. We've got over 20,000 users within Microsoft over the past six weeks. Um, and we're hitting about um, we're hitting nearly a thousand prompts stored in there as well. Um, you can import and export prompts. So if you have lots of different organizations who have um, uh, prompt buddy, then you can actually import those uh, with um, uh, sorry, we, you can import those uh, with a JSON file. Or oh, this tenant doesn't have it in. Apologies. Let me go to this one here. Uh, so you can you can uh, export this out with JSON um, and, uh, and and do that there as well. So just on the roadmap, just while I, I come up with this, we're making updates all the time. Um, it currently is in English. French and Swedish, I think. We've got a whole load more language packs that are just about to come out. Um, so you can so you can do that. Um, we're also going to support storing prompts in different languages. So if you're a, um, a multi-country organization, you could store prompts in English and French and German, etc., and store all of your prompts in all of the different languages that we use there, uh, the, we use within Copilot. Um, so massive things like that. And then the other thing which is really exciting is we are just linking in at the moment to Copilot Studio so that you can uh, kind of query that and then bring bring it in um, that way. So you can say, hey, I'm looking for great prompts that help me to organize my day. Um, and then Copilot Studio will go and find that. And it's easy for it to do that because it is grounded in the Dataverse table as well. And my my power apps is uh, my my teams is is super slow um but uh, i assure you it is uh, it's, it's really easy to import and export that through uh, through the json files so that is a that is a, a whistle stop that is a, a super quick tour there um of prompt buddy um i don't know if the, if it's the format is to kind of do q and a whether anybody's Got any any thoughts on it and things like this? Oh, there you go. Look, I can show you how easy it is to export. So this is the admin interface in the background. Um, so we provide it with a set of sample prompts to get you started, so that you haven't got an empty one. Um, but we can see here that um, it's just as easy to export them. So if you have different prompt buddies in different teams and things like this, then you can actually share them between them that way as well. So you can grab the prompts that you want grab that JSON and then go to a different one. Uh, go to my import prompts there, paste in that JSON file there and import it back in to there. Um, it's really easy to um, kind of set up which channels it goes into. And again, if you've seen employee ideas, then then all of this will be familiar to it because it is, it is really grounded in the employee ideas template there. Um, if you want to add new categories, you can do that. One of the ways that we extended it is to have these different types of categories so that we've got apps, departments and preserves and things like this. So this is where it's kind of outgrown where employee ideas was. Um, it would be a fantastic use case for a plugin for M365 Copilot. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm.